Well, again, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, listening tonight or watching home on TV. Um, my name is John McDonald, and I'm number 14 on your ballot. I've been out knocking on doors since the middle of April, and the number one issue I hear is about property taxes, and that people can't afford them. Uh, I, I've been knocking, and I hear, John, uh, I can't afford my property taxes. I haven't got a, a raise in uh, a number of years. John, I'm uh, out of work. I can't afford my property taxes. John, I'm retired. I live on a fixed income, and I can't afford my property taxes. You know, it's a big issue. And, um, you know, I think it's time that the, 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 the taxpayers in the city of all get a break. Uh, another big uh, thing that, that I like to focus on, on is economic development for the city. It's something I do every day. I get to run to work. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a uh, person who's immersed in business development on how to bring jobs to a city. We need to bring jobs to Lowell and put the people of Lowell back to work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Marty Lorry. My name is Marty Lorry. Since April, I've been talking about trying to rebuild the uh, business tax base in the city. I look back over the years and I look at the footage on Bridge Street, Appleton Street, GE, hundreds of thousands of square feet of industrial land gone. Um, it's all apartments, which is good. It gets to the tax base. We have to have a planned industrial base in the city. If we do, that will increase the uh, tax base and at least stabilize the taxes. I'd like to use the money we do make on the quality of life in the city. I talked earlier about recreation facilities, the parks, the infrastructure, the sidewalks, the street. This city needs a long-term plan on how we're going to fix the infrastructure, and we can do it with a, with a striving tax base. My name is Marty Lurie. I'm number 13 on your ballot. Thank you. Thank you very much, John Lady. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for having us all here tonight. Uh, really appreciate it. My name is John Lady. I'm number 12 on the ballot. Uh, I'm running for the city council after serving five terms on the school committee. I feel that I've uh, been a strong advocate for education my whole time. I've uh, worked well with city administration, with the school administration. And I believe that I can bring this experience to the city council. Uh, I have been out knocking on doors along with my colleagues here. Uh, and the main thing from me, for me that I've been hearing is it starts in our neighborhood and works out. People want some relief on the tax base. They want their neighborhoods to be clean. They want the roads to be repaired. And uh, the traffic lately has been uh, atrocious. Um, these are quality of life issues, and uh, people will want to be heard on them. Thank you. John Lake, I'm number 12 on the ballot. Thank you. Ed Kennedy. Hi, my name is Ed Kennedy, and I'm running in large part because I think that the city council should show a lot more leadership and a lot more initiative than what it does. I think if the city manager is going to be driving the car, then the city council should be in the front seat holding the map, not sitting in the back seat. And that's kind of how I see that it's been at City Hall for the past several years. Um, as I mentioned, I've served four, year, four terms on the City Council back in the 70s and early 80s, uh, 1978 to 1985. If you're doing the math, I was just 26 years old when I first got elected, so I'm not 80 years old now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that that experience puts me in the unique position um, of of being able to offer both is the best of both worlds, both an experienced city councilor and a city councilor with a fresh perspective. And I would re, um, I would ask to be a vote on November 8th. Thank you. Thank you. Rodney Elliott. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the voters of the city for electing me to the city council for the last 14 years. I don't pretend to be right all the time. I don't pretend to have all the answers. What I do is I pledge my word that I'll continue to go to city hall to keep it open, honest and transparent. While I continue to keep my eyes on your taxes, I have also listened to the, closely to the residents of the city to address issues that affect your everyday lives. Pit bulls, library safety, zoning, illegal dumping. I filed the motions and I followed through. Moving forward, I'll continue to ask the tough questions, bringing up challenging issues. I believe the city council needs someone who's willing to, to work to make government more open and transparent and isn't shy about tackling unpopular or sometimes controversial issues. I believe, I firmly believe the City Hall belongs to you. I also think that we need to revisit the residency re requirement. I filed a motion on it uh, some time ago and hire people from Lowell 
and not people from outside the city. We're a city of 100,000 people. I think we can find quality, qualified candidates amongst our residents. Or Thank you very much. someone has to be willing to move to the city. Thank you. Great to learn. Uh, as I told you, I'm against the city manager. I want to read one point. I hate to read this, but I got This is from a hearing in Boston. One point, I instructed my staff not to use any plumbing and gas permits because to do that kind of plumbing and gas renovation upgrades, units have to be gutted out. And that interior demolition required a building permit, and the housing authority did not obtain any building permits to do this. A week later, I was instructed by management, the manager's office, to release the plumbing and gas permits as a sign of good faith. I guess in negotiating a payment of any fees. The fire department was also in order. Closing out, any project that requires the signature of a building official can only sign an affidavit of completion is submitted by the architect of record. And with all other signatures of all other inspectors for appropriate construction, the simple as electrical, fire, without a building put in place that cannot be accomplished. The law was violated. From my point of view, it is about addressing public safety to enforcement of 780C and from the lower housing point of view. It's about fees, permits, and the inconvenience of addressing public safety. Also, a subordinate of this boss sent a letter thank contradicting you, his boss. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. Kevin Driver. Thank you, and once again, thank you for putting this forum together. Um, and uh, my name is Kevin Broderick. I'm number one on the ballot, finishing up my third term, <coughs> six years. And um, I've asked for one of your nine votes to return to uh, the city council to continue what I think has been effective work in restructuring our budget, uh, performance based now. Um, and, you know, we talked about taxes. Uh, we're, we're looking at maybe the first, uh, well, I don't want to say decrease, but decrease in what we anticipated in our tax, uh, our tax increase. And uh, I think it's in large part due to the, the planning. We have a capital plan, we have performance budgeting, um, we have uh, rate payers paying the cost of the, of the use of services where it's applicable. And uh, this takes the load off of the taxpayers. I think that we need to continue to do this and continue to get our, uh, our house in order. Um, we have some uh, fixed costs that we are addressing now. And uh, I ask that one of you and I both to return me so that we can continue the good work and uh, level up taxes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the last uh, speaker, Paul Belay. Uh Thank you, Marie. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the United Teachers of Law and the Merrimack Valley Central Labor Council for putting on this forum. I'd also like to thank the UCAB for broadcasting this forum to all the folks at home. My name is Paul Belay. I'm number nine on the ballot. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing the work since, 19, uh, since 2006 as a neighborhood leader and activist. I've helped to mitigate flooding issues in my neighborhood. I've also attended numerous city council zoning and conservation uh, meetings. I revitalized the neighborhood park. I'm a neighborhood guy. I will put forth all of my energies, as I have as a volunteer, as your next city council, if you will allow me to do that on November 8th, number nine in the ballot. Thank you. Thank you. 